Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey with Antelope Audio. The new Zen Go is taking the audio world by storm, not only for its sound quality and features, but also for its size and ease of use in the studio or on the road. However, don't just think of the Zen Go as an interface for your PC or Mac. Zen Go is also totally at home as part of your iOS workflow, be that on iPad or even iPhone. In this video, I'm going to show you just how quick and simple it is to get your new Zen Go audio interface up and running with your iOS device. In this video, I'll be using the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro. However, with the correct cables, you could even use your iPhone for music making on the go. On the Zen Go, if you will. Zen Go is quite simply the perfect audio interface to run alongside your iPhone or iPad. When used with iOS, there is no way to configure the routing for the Zen Go. Zen Go was not technically designed to work with iOS. However, it has a class compliant driver and works perfectly well. But there's no dedicated iOS control panel software. So if you have been creative with your routing in the Zen Go control panel, it's going to be worth resetting the IO and routing before disconnecting it from your PC or Mac. We can get back to the default state by going to the load session button in the control panel and hitting set defaults and then load. Now we are back to an out of the box state and all the routing is set one to one. This will also reset your gain and preamp settings. You can of course still set and adjust the onboard mic pre's of the Zen Go from the Zen Go. First, press the gain button to enter the input settings menu. Press it again to switch between the two inputs. Now do a short press on the main rotary encoder knob, which will switch between the different input modes, line, mic and high Z. Now if we press and hold the main rotary knob again for a few seconds, it will enable 48 volt mode when the mic mode is selected. Use the antelope button as a back button. Zen Go is what we call bus powered, meaning it draws the juice it needs from the USB connected device. However, in the world of mobile devices, this is far from ideal. To get around this issue, Zen Go has two USB ports. On the far right, we see a USB Type-C connector marked A USB. This is the port that you should connect to your Mac, PC, or in this case, iPad. However, there is also a second USB-C port. This is used to power the Zen Go from either an external USB power supply, like that for an iPhone or iPad, or from a USB device, meaning that you won't be powering the Zen Go from the iOS device's battery. In turn, meaning that you'll be able to work for longer without having to recharge. There is nothing worse than the low power indicator to stifle your creativity. Once we are connected, all control is handed over to the iOS app of your choice. Apple's GarageBand, for example, just lets me create tracks and takes care of all the routing and monitoring for me. And because the class compliant driver works so well, there is next to no latency, so I can monitor through real time effects or amp emulations with no feel of delay or double tracking. So I really hope you enjoyed that quick look at how to use the new Antelope Audio Zen Go with your iOS device. If you need any more help, info or advice on the Zen Go or the full range of Antelope Audio interfaces, please check out antelopeaudio.com. But for now, my name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.